My name is Kathy Bodad, and my great-grandfather was interned on Whitefish Island here in Sault Ste. Marie. I don't know a whole lot about my great-grandfather, uh, other than the stories my grandmother telling about him coming ahead to Canada and uh, sending the money for them to come uh, four or five years later. Our farm was too small to divide among all of the brothers. Daddy was the youngest brother and he loved adventure. So he left for the new country. He was going to work and send money so that we could cross the sea in a big ship to a new life in a better country. He was arrested. The police came to the door in their red coats and tall brown leather boots that went up to their knees. They were looking for daddy. They knew he had come home and where was he? Mama pretended she couldn't understand English and for the first time did not make me talk for her. This is my Baba when she was in her 50s. This was her when she was 15. And these were her parents. So her father was Dionysius and he was interned at Whitefish Island. My grandmother talks about, you know, being able to bring him some whitefish and some padeha that her mother made into the Whitefish Island internment camp. Uh, for a treat. And we had to go by the soldiers. And we used to go down to the prisoner camps, and my father was there too. The first few Austrians were held at the armory, but they ended up having more prisoners than they can handle, so they moved them to Whitefish Island. My name is Chief Dean Sayers. I'm the Chief of Batchewana First Nation, located here in the heart of the Great Lakes, in Sault Ste. Marie. This is a very sacred, dear place to the Ojibwe people of the Central Great Lakes. We've had a sordid history in this area, including our removal from these islands back in the early 1900s, prior to the First World War. And our people were basically landless after we left here. It wasn't long after, I guess, that Canada established a prison we understand that the pain that people experienced while they were here was based on economic needs and, and capitalism. Our pain wasn't in isolation. We've been able to establish an incredible village here, a place of pride, a place of education, a place of cultural knowledge, a place where our people can once again gather. I was told that it never happened in Sault Ste. Marie, that it was a receiving station simply, and there was no uh, internment camp here. So I, I did some research and found out that indeed there was one, and that my grandmother's stories were true. 